What's up everybody, my name is Kevin from the filmmakersblog.com and today we are talking about moonlighting and two ways to pull it off. In this type of low light lighting, less is more. There's going to be a lot of shadows in your shot, but how sharp and dark those shadows are depends on your light intensity and diffusion. Number one, skit lighting. I start off by driving my car in the middle of the cul-de-sac just to get some room to work. We have two lights, one in the front of the car and one in the back. The one in the back is our key light and is acting as the moon, which will be our main source of light. The second light, one in the front of the car, is just softening some of the shadows that our key light has created. Moonlight does not mean one light. Use as many lights as you need in order to fine tune and make the shot exactly how you want it. But what if you only have one light? Can you still make a convincing moonlight effect? Yes, with the technique bounce lighting. Just take a light, shine it at a wall. It will spread across a larger surface and therefore you've created a bigger, softer light. Number two, the hunted lighting. For the hunted, I didn't have a wall but I had a big white sheet, and the concept is the same. I took a light, shined it straight into the sheet, and created a bigger, softer light that was able to light the canyon that we were in. I couldn't have pulled this off without the white sheet. Why? Because the light panel I was using wasn't that big. The smaller the light, the sharper the shadows. What the white sheet allowed me to do was make my light massive, creating a soft light across the entire frame. Where have you been? Just picking up a few things. Hot dog. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait a second. This is a hot dog and hamburger buns. Cooking is not her forte. What? What are you talking about? Where'd you get this? The neighbors love me. Becky, one house down. Very nice. Becky? We're supposed to be on a stakeout, man. Chill. Chill. She said next time I come over, I should bring you too. Really? <laughs> no. <coughs> oh man, I had all this junk mail I get from film websites I subscribe to. None of it interests me. You know, I think you'd be interested in thefilmmakersblog.com. Hmm? Yeah, even you could be on it. All you gotta do is uh, comment on a topic. Wow. What, what does thefilmmakersblog.com do? Well... Let me tell you, they got filmmaking tips, written posts, wow. and even behind the scenes of real film shoots. Kind of like this one. You can learn how we did this moonlighting technique. LED. Yeah, well, they come out with new content every week, so you'll never be left high and dry. You know what? I think I'm going to subscribe to their website for the written content and YouTube for the videos. Yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and subscribe at thefilmmakersblog.com to receive all of our filmmaking content. Make sure to comment your questions and suggestions so that you can become a part of next week's video.